What's going on, buddy? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through a sample full day of eating for fat loss. Basically, do not copy exactly what I'm gonna be eating, but hopefully you guys can get some ideas, maybe some meals or some recipes that you can try to add to your own calories, protein, and macros for your fat loss journey. But I'm gonna take you guys through exactly what I eat today. First things first, starting off with a protein shake. This is a protein shake. It's 10 ounces of almond milk, one scoop of Transparent Labs milk chocolate. It's their isolate, so it's a little bit higher protein. And the macros for this right here is 170 calories, four grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. So this will be the first thing I eat right before I basically sit down at my computer to start my day with some computer work. Once again, we've been fasting, we haven't had any food, probably about 12 hours since we went to bed, slept, and this is to break the fast. So yeah, very simple, efficient. If you're on the go in the morning, you wanna add a piece of fruit to it, great. I'm gonna save my fruit for a little bit later in the day and just start with a protein shake before we sit down and get some computer work done. But yeah, that is meal number one. See you guys in the next meal. And the time has come for our second meal of the day. This is also our pre-workout meal. And when it comes to having a diet for fat loss or trying to shred down, typically what happens is your protein will probably stay the same as well as your fats. And what will fluctuate or change is your carbs. So when you start a diet, you probably wanna have, once again, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, fat, something in the healthy rep range of maybe, I don't, I just say rep range, something in a healthy range, which obviously I'm very for the individual. For me, I would say a minimum of 40 grams upwards of maybe 50, 60, something like that. And my carbs will change a lot throughout my dieting phase. And when that happens, I wanna keep most of my carbs around my workouts when I need the energy, right? When I need the fuel. So this is pretty much a very carb heavy meal. And sometimes I might even add my protein shake onto this meal, depending on when I train in the morning. If I'm in a rush, maybe don't have that time to get that protein shake in, which once again, I mean, takes five minutes, but my mom's on other things. I'll have a protein shake as well. Or if I train early in the morning, cause I've been doing computer work for about the last three hours, I'll have this with my protein shake and then go train. But what we have here, we have four chocolate rice cakes. We have one banana cut up on three of those. Then we have 15 grams of this fit butter right here, which is basically the equivalent macros of peanut butter. In my opinion, it just tastes way better um, on this rice cake right here. So it's a little bit of um, peanut butter, I believe is the base of this one. There's a bunch that they actually sent me out I need to try, but this one's really good. I also think I have like a white chocolate chip macadamia, a cookie dough, and like some other flavor that I'm gonna try, but with me being on prep right now, I just don't have the opportunity to use as much as I want. Um, but yeah, we have this monster cookie, it's peanut butter, a little bit of whey protein made with coconut oil, and it is just absolutely amazing. It is like crack. I wish I could have the entire tub of it, but we're on prep, so we're not gonna do that. But after prep, all that thing's going on oats, it's going on my banana, it's going on my rice cakes. I might even buy a spoonful. It's really good, I really like it. But I wanna try other flavors. But this meal comes out to be 400, and 36 calories, 78 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and eight grams of protein. As I mentioned, a big source of our carbs for the entire day, I think almost, not quite half, a little bit under half of our carbs are in this meal right here before we go train, because we want that fuel. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, the pre-workout meal, and I'm gonna dig in, and we're gonna head to the gym. I'll see you guys at the post-workout meal. We've made it back from the gym and had a very good workout, I will say. So this is a couple days after my first show. And when you do a bodybuilding show, you peak, so you actually increase your food as you go to the bodybuilding show to refill your glycogen storages. And all that extra food was definitely put to work today in the gym, which was awesome. But post-workout, we're gonna have our post-workout cocktail. We have our creatine, HMB, as well as our post. This is the post-workout cocktail I have every day. A, it's really nice because I get in the routine of taking my creatine, then post to help with preventing the basically soreness and promote recovery. Then we're also gonna have a Powerade Zero, so we're gonna have that, and then we'll whip up the post-workout meal. And the post-workout meal is burgers. Unfortunately, since we're low on carbs, obviously low on calories, trying to cut, we don't have any buns, but we got two burgers right here. These are both 96.4 ground beef. This is four ounces per patty, so eight ounces total, with two servings whoa, of our no sure added ketchup, one per burger, as well as some mustard. This I do not weigh out because it is zero calories and it just needs amount of sodium, so that I actually don't track, but I do track the ketchup. And then we have two of our drinks, so still sipping on the Powerade. We're gonna add a Fresca, the best diet soda in my opinion, once again, everyone has their own personal opinions. I don't like Dr. Pepper. Before I get comments, I swear every time I post about diet soda, somebody's like, try to diet Dr. Pepper, diet Dr. Pepper. And I'm just personally not a fan of Dr. Pepper, period, but everyone's got their own preferences. Then we also have 150 grams of carrots and 150 grams of strawberries in this bowl. And that's once again, fruits, veg, but also carb sources. So that's gonna be the carbs for the day, or I guess carbs for the post-workout meal. 
And this meal comes out to be, let's see, we're on to meal number three of the day, 444 calories. No, I did not do that on purpose, it's just the way it came out. 35 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 51 grams of protein. As you guys know, once again, most of the carbs are in that pre-workout meal, so the rest of the day is a little bit lower on carbs. If I wasn't cutting, you bet your ass, I would have buns on both of these burgers, as well as maybe, I don't know, another carb source, I'm trying to think. Honestly, I probably have more carrots and more strawberries if I really had the choice, but this is the post-workout meal. I'm gonna dig into this. I'll see you guys at meal number four. And after a little bit more work and a few more steps, we are on to meal number four of the day. It is a little bit of a mishmash of kind of random things, but it's actually a meal I really, really enjoy. So first things first, we have our two eggs as well as two low calorie slices of bread. I cannot wait until I can eat all the eggs I want, I swear. I just want like six eggs, six pieces of toast, and I could just down that like no other. One of my favorite things. Then we have six ounces of chicken tenderloin over here. This is, once again, I cook up like two or three pounds at once. I just reheat it. This I microwaved. You could also use the air fryer. It tastes a little better, but in me, but for me, convenience sake adds um, just the air. No, not the air fryer. For convenience sake, I use the microwave. I add a little bit of little hot sauce on there. We are using the Chipotle. Cholula hot sauce, I don't know if that's gonna focus, hopefully, on the chicken. And we have two full bell peppers cut up, comes out to be about 300 grams of bell pepper. As you can see, a yellow and an orange bell pepper there. So this is gonna be our meal, very high in protein. We've got some carbs in the bread, as well as the bell peppers. And once again, bell peppers for some volume and some vegetables. This meal comes out to be 488 calories. It is 35 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and then 55 grams of protein. We have one meal left. If I went down this, I am very, very hungry. I've been doing a lot of work, so this is a little bit later than I normally have this meal. But yeah, I'm gonna dig in. I'll see you guys at meal number five. And the time has come for our fifth and final meal of the day. We just got out of the shower, a little sauna as well. We're gonna have two of these Oikos triple zeros. These are 15 calories a pop. I wanna say zero fat, and then I'm not exactly sure how many carbs, but I'll throw that information up whoop, somewhere over there. And then real quick, I'll bring, actually I'll read it just cause I need to bring it out for the day total anyways. So let's see, for two Greek yogurts, it comes out to be 180 calories. They're 90 calories a pop, 20 grams of carbs and zero grams of fat and 30 grams of protein. As I mentioned, yeah, quick little protein bomb at the end of the day. You could also do a protein shake. You could do um, my casing protein pudding. You could do a protein bar, something like that. But Greek yogurts are my go-to at the moment. Then we have a day total of 1,718 calories, 172 grams of carbs, 41 grams of fat, and 174 grams of protein. You know it's a fat loss diet when your carbs are lower than your protein, and that's exactly where I'm at right now. Well, I guess they're technically even, but as soon as your carbs start to get close towards your protein or below that, that's when you know you're definitely in a fat loss diet. For most people, unless your fats are really high for some reason. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's full day of eating. Amazing, got a thing to say? Huh? Anything to say? All right, well, looks like she doesn't. And I'll go ahead and wrap things up here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Any questions, leave them down below. Hopefully you guys got some ideas for maybe some higher protein, low calorie options that you can implement into your diet. But once again, if you're not copying mine exactly, uh, it's for me personally on my bodybuilding prep. Some of you might be in similar calorie ranges or protein ranges. Once again, make it your own. Hopefully you guys got some ideas. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.